What's up everybody? Today, I don't have a shoe video for you guys. I just wanted to show you guys my closet. It's finally full, which I think is pretty cool. Today, I actually have a different type of video to show you guys. Today I was going to show you my video game collection. Now, I'm just doing this because I haven't done a video in a long time. And I eventually want to take my channel in this direction because, I mean, I love video games. So, yeah, I'm going to show you guys all these, you know, cover to cover. Maybe say a little something, something, and, yeah. So, my systems, I just got N64. Nice breaking that out again. Nintendo Wii. Sony PlayStation 3. Game Boy Advance. My DS, yeah, I know it got the skin on the outside. I thought it was cool at the time. It's still kind of nice. And then my sister's, uh, what is this? Uh, DS Lite. So yeah, I'm just going to show you guys what I have. I know to most people, this is, to the average person, this is a lot of video games. But, you know, to video game collectors, this is like nothing. And the only reason I even have a lot is because I made it like a... Uh, I don't know, I just made it to where I never trade in games. I always keep all the games that I get, even if I hate them. So yeah, let me get to it. <coughs> Alright, so first off, I'm just going to start off with some miscellaneous Nintendo stuff that I have. I have the Super Mario 64 Player's Guide. You know, this is for the N64 the original. Yeah, I actually stole this from my friend and never gave it back, but whatever. He never really used it anyway. And then I have this this Animal Crossing Wild World for Nintendo DS um, guide. This is kind of helpful, you know, for all the items and everything. And then I also used to have a Twilight Princess guide, which I really needed to beat that game. But it got, like, watered down, and I just ended up throwing it away. So, yeah. Alright, so first up, I'm going to show my N64 games. This is in no particular order, so let's go. I got... Oh, crud, how do you pronounce it? Uh, Yule Country Club. Probably just got it because it was cheap. Madden 99. World Driver Championship. Never played it because it was too hard. New Tetris. My mom loved, the, loved this game. Star Wars Rogue Squadron. Namco Museum 64. Off-Road Challenge. Stunt Racer. One of my favorite random N64 games. And Pokemon Stadium. Alright, little Mario, that's some Mario Golf, Super Mario 64 of course, and Paper Mario. And I actually found the instruction booklet for this game, because this was the last game that I ever bought on N64. And I saved the colored ones for last, so those are the coolest. I got Army Men Air Combat, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, both these games had amazing soundtracks, and my favorite N64 game. Donkey Kong 64, and I've never completely beat this game. Alright, next up is the first part of my handheld games, the uh, Game Boy Color games and the Game Boy Advance games. So first up, I got Super Mario Deluxe. I know it's a little bit hard to tell because I got a little bit busy on the label. And Rush. Crazy story about this game. My dad was like really frustrated with me one day and I was playing this game, so he threw it up on the roof. And it stayed up there for a couple weeks, and eventually I went up there to get it down. And it actually rained during that time, and it actually still ended up working. So props to Nintendo for making a durable game. And got Brass Rock Angels, that's my sister's game. Game and Watch Gallery 4, Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland, another Namco Museum, Super Mario's, oh, what is that? Super Mario World, Super Mario Advance 2, Pokemon Leaf Green, and Pokemon Emerald. Now, I actually used to have Pokemon Red, but I freaking lost that sucker. Alright, next up is my DS, my Nintendo DS games. Pokemon Dash. This is actually my first Nintendo DS game. Pokemon Diamond. My game. Pokemon Pearl. My sisters. Sonic Rush. Mario Kart DS. Sims 2 Castaway. Again, my sisters. Nintendo Dogs. My sisters, but I actually had a little fun with it. Mario Luigi Partners in Time, 
Super Mario DS, Super Mario 64 DS, you know, got it thinking of the Nintendo 64 counterpart. Animal Crossing, my version. Animal Crossing, my sister's version. Diddy Kong Racing DS, once again, thinking of the Nintendo 64 version, and got this. Hamster's Life, Sister's Game, and New Super Mario Brothers. All right, all right. Coming up is the most expansive part of my collection. My GameCube games. The system that I spent the most time with. Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2003. Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2004. 2005. Pikmin. A game that I saw at McDonald's. Ended up playing it. Really fun. Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut. Animal Crossing. Simpsons Hit and Run. Really fun game. DJ Tour 2006. Swingers Golf. Weird game. FIFA Soccer 2003. Fight Night Ram 2. All Star Baseball 2003. Featuring Derek Jeter. NHL 2003. NCAA Football 2005 NCAA Football 2003 Madden 2003 Yeah, I have a lot of sports games But it's kind of weird because I never really liked sports games I just got them because they were cheap Alright Alright, next up is Outlaw Golf Really funny game The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker Really one of my favorite games on GameCube Super Monkey Ball, fun multiplayer game. Beach Spikers, surprisingly really fun multiplayer game. NBA Live 2003. Super Mario Sunshine, another one of my favorites. Wario World. Pokemon Box Ruby and Sapphire. I was thinking this was like something totally different and not just a Pokemon organizer, but it's for me for not reading. Pokemon Channel. Paper, Mor Paper Mario, Thousand Year Door, probably my favorite GameCube game. Oh wait, hold on. Okay, this is a pretty good game too. Super Smash Brothers Melee, Melee, whatever, Melee. Super Mario Strikers, Sonic Mega Collection, NASCAR Thunder 2003. This is a game that I would just like crash every time. It was so fun. MVP Baseball 2004. Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life, Weird Case. Medal of Honor Frontline, Oop. Wave Race Blue Storm, and Hot Wheels Wo World Race. Alright, here we got Star Wars Rogue Leader, Rogue Squadron 2. Mm. International Winter Sports 2002, this is probably uh, my least favorite game of all time. Yu-Gi-Oh! The False Bound Kingdom. Yeah, I never really played it. Metroid Prime. Really fun game, but it kind of scared me when I was younger. Burnout. Fun game. Burnout 2. Point of Impact. Another fun game. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. Tony Hawk's Underground. My favorite Tony Hawk's game. My favorite Tony Hawk game. SSX 3. And this is extra tricky. This was like my first GameCube game right here. This game is so fun. Great soundtrack also. Then I got 1080 Avalanche, thinking it was gonna be like, you know, one of the SSX tricky games. Total letdown. Pokemon Coliseum. Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Bratz Rock Angels, Sisters Game, Luigi's Mansion. Mario Party 4, Mario Party 7, Mario Kart Double Dash, my favorite Mario Kart, Mario Golf Toadstool Tour, Pikmin 2, Pac-Man World 2, pretty fun platformer, Sonic Heroes, Sonic Adventure Battle 2, once again, another one of my favorite GameCube games ever, this was like my second game I'd ever got on GameCube. And Kirby Air Ride. 
Alright, next up is the Wii games. Kind of ashamed of my Wii, because you know, as a kid, you had a Wii, you were the guy that people made fun of. But whatever, here they are, just keep them on the download. Wii Sports was, oh, Wii Sports. Wii Sports. Link's crossbow training. Link's crossbow training. So yeah, I have no clue why I have two of these, I can't remember why. And then Wii Sports. Um, I have two of these because my original Wii broke down, and it was so cheap to get a second one, so why not? <sighs> Call of Duty World at War for the Wii. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Call of Duty Modern Warfare for the Wii. This game was actually really fun. Boogie. Fun rhythm game. Battalion Wars 2. Played the original on GameCube. I mean, I fell in love with it immediately, so I couldn't miss out on the second one. Wii Sports Resort. Wii Music. Wii Fit Plus. Wii Play. So yeah, all these Wii um, something games, my family thought it would be, my family thought it was good to get all these games, but I never really spent a lot of time with them, so yeah, whatever. Get these out of the way. Super Paper Mario. Fun game. Uh, I was a little bit disappointed it wasn't the same format as the first two, or like gameplay as the first two, but I still had a lot of fun with it. Super Mario Galaxy, just a great game. Mario Strikers Charged. Mario Kart Wii, fun multiplayer. Super Smash Bros. Brawl, really fun multiplayer. Zelda Twilight Princess. I don't know, this game was just deep and I love the art in it and I just love the dark. You know, I just loved it. Zelda Skyward Sword, I didn't, I didn't love it as much as this game, but it was still, you know, a Zelda game. I still liked it, you know. Of course, you gotta be a little bit different every time, but I don't know. They were both good. Super Mario Galaxy 2, probably one of my most like hyped up games to get. Need for Speed Carbon, had a little fun with this. Red Steel 2, fun, really fun with the Wii controllers. Resident Evil 4, I missed out on this with the GameCube, so I got it for the Wii. Don't regret it. Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2010. Boom Blocks, just a multiplayer game, whatever. Super Monkey Ball, Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz, another multiplayer game. Animal Crossing City Folk, probably the worst Animal Crossing game out of all three. Guitar Hero 3, Legend of Ro Legends of Rock, yeah, when Guitar Hero was like popular. Guitar Hero World Tour. Madden 07, and then let me get these out of the way. Here we got Metroid Prime Trilogy. Yeah, I got that like sick case and everything. Good deal. Good deal. My Sims. I think it was my sister's game. Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2007. And Tiger Woods PGA Tour 09 All Play. Yeah, the All Play is kind of ruined sports games. So yeah, that's my Wii right there. Alright, so last but not least, in no particular order, is my are, are my PlayStation games. Now, I got into PlayStation because that was the only other system that my friends had. I really had no friends that had Xboxes, like the original Xbox, so I would always just go over and play like PS2 and they would come over to my house to play Nintendo. And so yeah, once I got out of my little like kitty stage, I guess, and, and Got out of that, and more of my friends were playing, you know, PS3 and Xbox, I moved on to P I chose PS3. So, when I got my PlayStation 3, I got the, like, I guess newer model or whatever, like the third model. And with it, I got this PlayStation 2 road trip, thinking, can't believe I thought this, thinking that a PlayStation 3 was backwards compatible. But, it's not. Because my friend had the original PS3 and it was backwards compatible, and I got this, the newer one, and it's not, which is really disappointing. But, you know what, whatever. So I had no game for my PS3 for a while, except this to like look at. This was just like a really fun, just a random game. Like, I don't know, road trip. Fun. So yeah, let's get to the actual game. 
Fallout 3. Great game. Little Big Planet. Little Big Planet 2. These probably would have never made it into the house if it wasn't for my sister. Red Dead Redemption. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. My friend showed me Assassin's Creed and Assassin's Creed 2, so I decided to get in the series. Resident Evil 5. It was fun. What is this? Naruto Shibuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 2. Fun fighting game. Uncharted Drake's Fortune. Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. And I actually have Uncharted 2 Among Thieves Game of the Year edition still wrapped up and everything. Wait, let me see. Because a person, um, somebody got me this as a gift thinking I didn't have it, so I guess if anybody, like, wants to PM me or anything about it, I could probably sell it to you for, like, really cheap, you know? Probably less than, like, $20, $15. So, yeah. Get to this pile. MLB 10, the show. Dead Space. Yeah, that was a fun game. Dirt 2. Fun for a little bit. Motor Storm. I don't know, just always seeing demos of this in the store. I had to get it. Burnout Paradise, fun game. Gran Turismo 5, this was, Gran Turis the Gran Turismo games are games that I always loved when I played at my friend's house, and I was so happy when I got this game. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops, and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Yeah, I know, I'm one of the few people that hasn't sold their copies of these games, but you know, I never get rid of my games, so yeah, it's just not worth it turning them in and I never rent games either so yeah so yeah that is my whole video game collection right there I know it's not a lot compared to you you know huge like video game collectors but for the average person you know it's a it's a respectable sum so yeah thanks for watching and hopefully I get some new shoes soon and yeah that's about it thanks for watching I know this has been long.